The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell, make sure you go to our own page and check out our more videos. Thank you. So I will discuss the demand of the cross. And then next week we will continue with a discussion on bitterness. But this evening I want us to look at the demand of the cross. Now, the demand of the cross is one thing, repentance. Now, what the cross is demanding of us is repentance. 2 Corinthians 5, 15, 16 and 17. Second Corinthians chapter 5, I read from 15 to 17. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them. And was raised again. Now, let me take it again. But I want you to put the scripture in your spirit. And he died for how many people? Oh. That those who live, those who accept his death, and therefore have gain eternal life should no longer live for themselves but for him who died for them and was raised again now that is why paul will say that i'm crucified with christ nevertheless i live but the life that i now live in the flesh he doesn't live to please anyone but the one who died for him. Now, because Christo So from now on, I'm now in verse 16. From now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Now we are not going to look at you as an Ashanti man, as an Englishman. No. We are looking at you because you have accepted Christ as Lord as a spiritual person and expecting something from you, from your lifestyle. Mm. Yes. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone. The new is here. And he died for all. That those who live should no longer live for themselves. But for him who died for them. And was raised again. Now, woman, woman, you know, now one what else? You know, and tenacity, I'm a woman who build. No more what tenacity, I'm a dear. Oh, we now we need no more one. In let's take Acts chapter seventeen. Yeah, we are small phone. You know, it is don't so verse thirty and thirty-one. And you move. Edu asamba ako ni edu asam yenu no. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance, but now He commands all people everywhere to. Repent everywhere to repent. You can cast my phone in your mind, it don't song in your mood, Edria San, any Edria San Bacono. Just I'm say, the scientin when you're coupon, a bunny, a gumre, or do I wouldn't you know so? Now I feel ye or send nipa a warm man in our say, one such a wagon. Now why? I didn't hear. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. 
he has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. If you say, "Were you the biato wa onam oberi mabia? Were you no esti hoso? Bebu we are say ateng tini nimu ono ana wama no asori efre ufomu the edia dance yes say nipe ni na enyinoni." The demand of the cross is a changed life. It's repentance. See, the fifth tenant of the Church of Pentecost is repentance, justification, and sanctification. Now, these are not different stages of salvation we no no anya kwan ahodoa ye fa so nya kwadia esonsono not that af my from repentance then you go to sanctification and justification no there be indeed the disosa they are not different stages of salvation anya akwan ahodoa ye fa so nya and they are also not the cause of salvation e biom anya we no mu na nkwadie friba they are not the cause. They are not the producer of salvation. Now listen to me. I beg you. The cause of salvation is the finished work of Christ on the cross. That is the cause of salvation. Now whether you are born again or not, your salvation has been purchased on the cross. So I will fulfill one will fulfill one quadier what tunnel and I will check us in you only have to respond to the cross. Now we are honest, we'll be to me a genia. Why are you saying you are So the cause of our salvation is the finished work of Christ on the tree. And the ascension, so a juma Christ to a vino and no, and a bray and quadier. You see, it is the belief in the finished work of Christ that gives you access. To salvation and eternal life. Now, when someone asks Paul, Sir, what must I do to be saved? Paul was very simple. He said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Very simple. Bibi sasa mapo Paul say ovra me dain me nyankwa and your catcher no ne say ji ewradi Yesu Kristo di na obe nyankwa eti awa now the believing will give you access to salvation to wuji edi no e be ma enkwa for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life so nyankopon do wi ase ne so de ne dobo wo no kro no mai no bibia ro be jina die no wanyira no wanya da nkwa first john 5 verse 1 ye hwe yohane homa no de di kan no etinum yimo a di kan no now the first part says this Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. But you see, James will even will also say that even the demons believe. Yeah. So there should be something more than this. To prove your faith in the finished work of Christ. You see what we call regeneration, sanctification, justification are effects of salvation. Repentance is also an effect of salvation. But regeneration, repentance, justification are affected by God. No. no, repentance is not affected by God. I'm saying that repentance, justification, sanctification are effects of salvation. But this effect, the justification, the sanctification, the regeneration is affected by God Himself minus repentance. Now, 
it is effected by God himself. Now when you believe he God justifies you, he God sanctifies you, you are regenerated by this same God. But he would demand repentance from you. Yes. 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 He doesn't give you repentance. Uh, but repentance is a demand of the cross. Now it is not repentance that saves. Repentance is also an effect. But it is a sign that one realizes what God has done through Jesus Christ. Now, let me say this. That repentance proves the genuineness of your faith. The genuineness of your belief. Why am I saying this? Acts chapter 8. Verse 13. Now let's go to Samaria. And then let's look at what really happened in Samaria. Now Samaria this man called Simon. The Bible says himself. Was a big man. What word is there? Believed. The belief is not. It's past tense. Believed. And was baptized. And he followed Philip everywhere, astonished by the great signs and miracles he saw. No, I didn't hope that Philip will hold now. Who will send you any near and what didn't I can see out? Yeah, no. Now, when news got to Jerusalem, the Samaria has also received Christ, they send the big men. Brack, I say, what it could do, Jerusalem, sir, Samaria, for no, why, Jit Christo. Now to lay their hands on them so they will receive the Holy Spirit. So Peter and John were sent. And they went to Samaria. Verse 18. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given at the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money. Now, this man has been baptized just yesterday and he's offering money. So let's move on. And Simon and Simon, who said, and Nam, a small phone and sa, what you go, or be swano, now what you won't come from Emmanuel, or this is a bread on a can say. And he said, Give me also this ability so that everyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. Now, now, where is he going to get the Holy Spirit to be giving people? You can say, Mom, mommy, to me be. Biara, me dem in sap be gunu suono. When ya un kunkrono be. Now, obey den when ya. Peter answered. Petro, can't you know say? May your money perish with you because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. Usika and wo and yera. If you say, Usu say, would you see ka? Na inya unyankopon achedienu. You have no part or share in this ministry because your heart is not right before God, even though baptized. Now the next verse begins with a very powerful word. Repent. Yeah. So the man has believed. He has not repented. Repent. Repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord in the hope that he may forgive you for having such a thought of heart. Now when you repent, your thinking is all also part of the repentance. Now, 
na yi hufri ho na sre o yakopon se e bia o de wakome mu adwene no peche wa then listen to peter again if it is peter for i see i perceive that you are full of bitterness this man was baptized yes yesterday and then he said captive of sin but you see when you are born again you are translated from the kingdom of darkness you 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 have been released from the clause of god so what is going on what is going on okay do you mean or say if we say me who say who were born you know you know who na emumoye ahoma ache chiro dan vuya na nu ya obo na sui oni o na repentance is needed to come into relationship with god rof no bribia mu no adwen sa chira wo we hia se yeni yankopon bebom atena wa yonko fa sonko mu as chapter 2 verse 37 ye hwe asoma fo no nyuma etimie nu yimu aduasan son and 38 when the people heard this they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, brothers, what shall we do? Smartphone numa etimienu yimu edu asa and so no say na watiano a wu won wan kumemu na wa country petro ni asmafona e kamu se and yanum yen ya day. Now what shall we do? Yen ya day. Now what shall we do in response to the cross? The message you have preached about the resurrection. What shall we do? And Peter said, Rep repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the forgiveness or for the remission of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, this one, you will receive it. It's not like Simon who wants to buy it. Oto aso aso na Petro se won se mun sa kire madwene na mun nyina ma wo mo mu esu Yesu Kristo di mu e ma mo boni fa che na mu benya won konkron a che di na che se wo sa kire wadwene a enye se efe ni wo koto won konkron na mum wo benya yeah so two things about repentance repentance is needed for you to come into relationship with God as in father son it is no mum yenu ehiamma Se obeti asie wo adwen sakire mu no dikan adwen sakire e do ba yonko fa sunku mu e da woni yakopon tem te se ja ene oba then secondly repentance is important to maintain the relationship and enjoy good fellowship with the master god if you are adwen sakire no e boa e ma wutu mitna sa yonko fa sunku mu na da bia woni yakopon abom atena se e ja ene ena e ja ene oba in revelation 2 and 3 Jesus was demanding repentance from the churches in Asia Minor. These are churches. These are born again. These are believers. But he needed, he was demanding repentance from them so they can keep maintain their relationship and keep the fellowship. So we have repented. We have come to faith. But we should always keep repenting when we see that we are vying off the way okay can you honey this same it's me you know me and sana no christ was your crying sir and safwa or new one casano will be not in such a no one such a that way as a for now so or shag in such a crime if you want to have been such a way here say bbm in your name in a me a better now you know the money and free new coin now brothers and sisters please listen to me we need to demand repentance as a bbm in our day as it was in the beginning now when we go out to preach the gospel don't just say receive the lord jesus receive the lord jesus demand repentance now when somebody comes to christ and then you are even leading the person to pray pray say that today Acknowledge that uh, Jesus Christ died for me. He was raised for my justification. And then don't just go and say that, uh, so I believe. Say that, so I repent. Demand repentance. It is Ubiba, not your bomb or the Abuano, and Manafa, a radi Yesua. Mummy and Shakuan say, You need to come on, and your Bessias or Bepem, what can say, or such an agony, a friend of Bonnie. Into Miss Sakra Magin, and Miss Sakra Magin, if I use a crystal, send me Ra, name my Jinka. Demand repentance and accept Christ Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Shakuan, so Bessacha, because that is the demand of the cross. It's not the way, and not. 
if, if someone does not repent, the cross is of none effect so far as that person is concerned. The prophets of old demanded repentance from Israel. Now it was a focus of the preaching of John the Baptist. Now, the wonderful thing is that repent, the word repent was the first word that came out of Jesus' lips when he began to preach. Matthew 4, verse 17. Matthew from that from that time on Jesus began to preach comma repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near because repentance is the key that opens the door to kingdom living it begins with the conviction of mind and it is backed by outward action. Now, what is repentance? It is simply the change of mind. When we say repent, say change your mind. Now, <laughs> yeah, but I like the G rendering of repent. That you say change your mind. Yeah, so that is what repentance means. Change your mind. But you see, just look at the one seated by you's face. I feel shed your tone channel him for more to abortion in him. Yeah. Uh, then ask him, do you know what is in my mind? <laughs> so, you cannot just read what is in someone's yeah, mind. Yeah, there are some people who will be laughing at you, but they actually do not like you. You cannot just read people's mind by what you see from their face. So, repentance should have been easy. Change your mind. Or believe. But because you cannot read what is in one's mind. Repentance is an inward change of mind. But by an outward action. Yes. It's an inward change of mind. That should be bad by an outward action. Otherwise... You are not really serious about the change of mind. Now, in this, now, on such an agony.